EasyEPD is a software tool developed by Green Delta. Our partners are TU Munich, the German Sawmill Industry Association and Hilbra. The purpose of the tool is to be able to generate EPDs in an easy way uh, and enable SMEs to create EPDs by themselves. Um, usually SMEs are too small, so they don't have the time and the money to uh, create EPDs by themselves and we want to help them out. We have started creating a preliminary version of the tool already. The tool is uh, in German, there is no English version, so I'm just going to go through all the steps and explain what they do. Uh, here basically you can create new EPDs. If you click on here, uh, you will be asked to enter a product name, for example this. And there is a uh, timeline here that guides you through the entire process. Uh, you have to declare a unit, which usually is one cubic meter, and then you have to choose which product group we're taking. For example, if we're doing Glulam, we're uh, choosing Glulam here. Uh, for each product group, we have already prepared the necessary um, product steps. So if we have a look here, we can now enter our um, LCI data for every single production step that is needed to make Glulam. Uh, if we choose a different product, for example, just a simple um, saw wood, then we would have less production steps. I'm just going to enter some random data here to see that the tool can already calculate results. We are trying to guide the user to make it as easy as possible. For example, here we're asking the question, how many cubic meters of um, log do you need in order to obtain one cubic meter of saw log in the end? So let's say I need two cubic meters, then I need to transport my logs uh, to the facility and then we're going to give different transport options. For example, here we have some trucks. We're going to put in more options, for example, transport by ship. Then I am guided to the next step here, which is debarking. Uh, so we assume this is some kind of machine that's going to need some amount of electricity. This is the standard German electricity mix and there's going to be some bark coming out of it. Here we are going to deal with the uh, possibilities of selling the bark. We're going to use allocation or using the bark to um, create heat or energy. These are all processes we're going to offer here as providers. Right now we're just using generic EcoInvent processes as a placeholder so we can um, calculate something. We're still uh, waiting for the uh, model, for the LCA model to be finished and then we can use the model here instead. So I'm just uh, going to leave the other ones blank so we can see um, that we get some results in the end. The calculation is pretty quickly. I'm already getting here my LCA results in the layout that is needed for EPDs. And the layout we are focusing on here is um, the German EPD program IBU. Um, these are not necessarily super realistic results right now, but we're just... Uh, I want to showcase that this thing can already calculate results. Uh, the other part of the EPD, of course, is all the text. Um, here, again, we're guiding the, the user through uh, the different chapters that are needed for the text. And creating an EPD can be a bit difficult on the text part. That's why uh, we're trying to make it very easy again here. For each chapter, we're saying, OK, what do you have to write here? And then we are giving an example test. Uh, example text. So if you have absolutely no idea what to write here, what you could do is just uh, copy paste the text in here and then change the names to your product accordingly. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing for each chapter. Um, we don't have all the chapters in here yet. For example, um, there needs to be a table in here with technical data, which we haven't implemented yet, but most of it is already there. So if you have entered all your text, you can uh, basically close this part and then you can go back to your EPDs and then you can uh, render a PDF. I have prepared one here already. And again, we are uh, using the PCR from IBU. So the PDF has to look like this. Uh, this is the layout, we not the layout that we chose, but the layout that is uh, coming from the IBU template. Here we have the IBU. 
Uh, we already uploaded some pictures and then here I have this gray field with the uh, IBU data and the data of the EPD creator. And then if I go to the text, it already looks, uh, if, you, if you're familiar with IBU EPDs, it already looks like uh, this template. And you got the text that you've entered before. And we also already implemented these, uh, this result table. Um, there's still some little layout problems here, but we're doing this with LaTeX, so it's a bit, uh, bit tedious to do, but we're getting there. And yeah, basically the uh, modules we are going to declare are A1, A2, A3, and then D if we get any credits, for example, for uh, burning packaging waste or something. And yes, the rest of the pages we still have to implement here, but that's basically the prelim preliminary state of the tool. Thank you for listening.